What's going on guys and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. I of course am JB and today we're going to have a look at the fantastic VeChain. Of course most recently we have seen VeChain have you know quite a fantastic ride starting out the year of 2024 with over 105% gains hitting a high of 5.145 cents. Yes finding a bit of rejection on this previous trend line that we were looking at. However, when we zoom out a little further, this more long-term trend line, this yellow one that we have got on the charts here, I do think we still have the potential to come up and test. Now, previously, we looked last week, a test of that trend line would be at 5.608 cents. A realistic test of that trend line this week would see that price push up to 5.661. When we look at the stochastic position, well, we can see we are sitting just above that 70% level. The daily overbought looking for a correction, but those lower timeframes look like they could be the power behind the final push to the upside that we are looking for. So with a test of the upper trend line looking likely, momentum still in our favour on this weekly time frame, those lower time frames still also looking for a continued move to the upside. The question begs, where are we targeting next for VET? Fantastic to have you all back with us once again to talk about VeChain. Now, if you have been living under a rock, let's just cover this one off one more time here. Coming over to Sunny Lou's own X page at Sunshine Lou 24, and there's a big announcement coming. We can see back on the 12th of February, Sunny Lou himself tweeting this out that they are, of course, heading to Barcelona to the MWC Hub 2024 where they will be joined by leading enterprises and visionaries to share some exciting developments coming soon for VeChain. Sunny Lou, along with Dr. Novoselov, they will be tackling challenges of sustainability. There is some exciting announcements, I am sure, ready to come. Speculation is, of course, rife. I don't have an insight to this one, guys. I would love to tell you what the announcement is going to be, but I, just like many of you, are on the edge of their seats, highly anticipating this potential announcement. What will it be? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If anyone has an insight, once again, put it in those, that comment section down below, guys. It would be fantastic to get an early scoop on what this is all about. But so far, we have seen that fantastic move to the upside for VET. Like we covered in the intro, this push to the upside, over 105% gains so far this year, and I think we are likely to see this one continue. A test of the upper trend line we can see would this week be around about 5.66 cents, and I do think we have momentum to get us up towards that level. However, we can appreciate we still have this more near-time white trend line that we could be looking to test out once again this week. That currently sitting at 5.194 cents, perhaps a bit more attainable to see the price push up and test. But what I think we should also be doing here is just zooming out on the charts just a little bit and actually looking at the moves that we could see going on. Is there any interesting levels that you know we should really be paying attention to? Now, when we put on the VRVP, look at those volume profiles, we can see that we are coming up to test an area of higher volume. A test of that white trend line once again this week would see that volume area tested. But we can also see if we can break through that level. We are dropping into an area with little to no volume and our next pit stop could be up towards that eight and a half cent level. Where we can see, we would meet up with that yellow trend line, this more macro time frame look that we have been watching. When we take a look at liquidity, well, we can see that we are coming up into these pockets of liquidity still to be claimed here. Once again, there is a nice pocket sitting between the two areas that we have mapped out here, between 5.1 and 5.6 cents, testing those trend lines. And again, if we want to come up and test that higher area of volume, we can see that there is still plenty of liquidity sitting on the charts at this level. Equally, there is also liquidity lower down in the charts, but we're not going to focus on those for today. I personally feel like momentum is still to the upside for VeChain. Now when we do take a look at the price action through the lens of the cheeky cipher, well we can see last week we of course were printed with that green buy signal 
or go long signal however you wanted to trade this one and it has been a very successful candle that we did see coming off the back of that movement around about 73.5 percent in gain so fantastic if you did act upon that one we can see that that move in itself is still valid we have not been given a sell signal or a go short signal as of yet so i will be keeping my eyes on the cheeky cipher throughout this week to see if we are then presented with a sell signal but what we can of course note money flow has turned positive the view up of course itself is still positive we are still pushing to the upside on the cipher so once again another confirmation that you know momentum is to the upside but we drop it down to the daily time frame well once again let's just put on another trend line here that moves starting back from the 8th of november and we can drag it across here where we did see this touch point on the 20th of february right here for the price action of v chain ultimately finding a bit of resistance at this point and having a bit of a breakdown we are coming up to test this once again this week looking around about that 5.3 perhaps 5.5 cent level to test out that trend line once again and i do think we have that potential to come up and test this out it's going to be interesting to see how the price reacts at this point whilst we are looking at trend lines one that i think is also quite a relevant one to look at here and it's a bit of a breakout that we did see we'll take this trend line origin from the 14th of march candle and we can bring it across to the moves we have seen playing out now our first touch point would have been here on the 18th of april coming up testing it finding resistance then once again coming up on the 26th of december to test it found resistance but crucially what we have seen on that candle here 16th of february we tested it once again and broke through so with us coming down in price are we likely to come down and test out that trend line if we were to come down and test it today it would be roughly 4.2 cent but this does not really look like a possibility but should that move happen let's look to see if it does find a bit of support on here then continue that push to the upside where i do think we'd be likely test up that upper trend line once again now when we zoom out a little bit further here and look at a potential higher target for VeChain. Coming back to the move we've seen here on the 8th of February 2022, what we can see at this push to the upside, we found a higher area of resistance at 6.927 cents. The price ultimately breaking down from here, coming up to test it once again on the 26th of March 2022, breaking on through there, we can obviously see the price coming back down coming up to test it once again on the lower end at 6.3 cent and breaking back to the downside. Now, of course, what we can see most recently is the price appreciation. Are we likely to see that price come up and test out this area once again? Between 6.379 and 6.927, I think we have an interesting area here. Should this announcement be something huge and we see that rally to the upside, well, we could be looking at that 6.3 cent level to come up and test. But of course, we do have those trend lines on the weekly and on the daily timeframes that we should be paying attention to. We do see, you know, those upper levels as potential stumbling blocks. And if you are in positions, are you likely to take profits there? Let us know in the comments down below. And of course, let me know what you thought of today's content using these trend lines, different indicators, the likes of the VRVP, you know, the HTF liquidity blocks and so forth. And of course, the cheeky cipher. Let me know where you sit with that one. Do you miss us using Elliott Wave Theory on these charts or would you like us to continue using trend lines, head and shoulder patterns, Adam and Eve's, whatever fits the narrative? Let us know in the comments down below. Of course, we want to make the content that you guys want to watch. So whether it's Elliott Wave Theory, whether it's trend lines and patterns, do let us know in the comments down below. And why not check out Nick's video earlier today where he covered all things Bitcoin.